Hey guys, it's Demon Fighter, and I'm back for another unboxing video. Today we're gonna have a look at the entire Tekken Pop figure line. I just got these four at GameStop online, and I actually found Heihachi here in stores. So I bought him, and then I bought the other four online. So, since I bought Heihachi first, let's have a look at him. Alright, got Heihachi out of the packaging, and yeah, he looks pretty good. Looks pretty neat. Did a good job sculpting and painting his hair. And of course his mustache. His gi looks nicely painted. Not really seeing any paint chips or anything. The belt nice is nice and red. They did a nice job with the tiger on his back. Very nicely done. Alright, so that's Heihachi. Now let's go with Kazuya. There we go. Alright, now here's Kazuya out of the packaging, and he looks pretty cool too. His hair is nicely sculpted and painted. Not really seeing any, any paint chips or anything. Nice job with the scars on his face and his body. Very good. From front to back, and of course, his red eye. See his gloves looks nicely looks nicely painted. His pants look pretty good too. All right, so that's Kazuya. Now let's go to Jin. Alright, here's Jin and already there is a couple See a couple of marks right there on his hair. But I guess that's okay. It's alright. Nicely sculpted. Very good. First, we got his gloves. Nicely done. Flames on his pants, nicely painted. That orange and yellow paint. Very nice. Very nice. And of course, the pads on his feet. Looks very good. Alright. Now let's move these three back a little bit. All right, now let's unbox Nina. And yep, just like every female pop figure, Nina comes with her own her own stand right here. If I could get it, there you go. All 
I don't know. I mean, she looks like she might be able to stand on her own two feet. Let me try. Huh. Wait. Oh, dang it. I thought I got her to stand on her own two feet. Oh. Looks like she's going to need this after all. Oh, wait. Wrong way. There we go. All right, so here is Nina Williams. Oh, yep, little smudge of purple paint on her shoulder right there. But that's all right. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna have her displayed facing like this. Hair is nicely sculpted and painted. Got that blonde hair color. Nice job on her outfit too. That purple camel suit that she always wears. Very nice. Get the black pads on there. Well, black knee pads. I just noticed that right there. It's like it's a knife in a holster. That's very cool how they did that. I never noticed that. Like she always had she's always carrying a knife with her. You know, in the games. Even though we never we never really see her use it in any of her moves or combos. Though it would be pretty neat if they did that. Alright. Last and certainly not least, my favorite, well, my main throughout all the Tekken games, King. All right, let's get these guys out lined up. All right, and here is King out of the packaging, and he looks pretty neat too. Nicely sculpted. His head is nicely sculpted and painted. All the black, black leopard spots all over. And good job on the tail too. Yeah, I think like out of all of these, I think King here, this King figure has got like more color, more color on him than any of these. You got purple, blue, and yellow paint all over. Nicely done. I right, can see they added King right there on his pants. It says King, Anger of Beast. Very nice. The teeth is nicely sculpted and painted. Man, I am really impressed with this entire Tekken line. This is... This is all so, so cool. I am so happy to have these. I mean, I've played both. I mean, I'm a fan of both Street Fighter and Tekken, but I think I'm more of a Tekken fan, mainly because I mostly play Tekken throughout my childhood. And I cannot wait for Tekken 7, man. I mean, I already pre-ordered my copy for PS4. Man, it comes out June 2nd, three days before my birthday. That's an awesome birthday gift right there for me. But let's com let's do a size comparison with other pop figures that I got. Here's Kazuya and Heihachi standing next to Akuma, and man, I am really excited that Akuma is actually gonna have a part in Tekken 7 story mode. I mean, we all know he's out to kill Heihachi as well as Kazuya, so I'm anxious to see how how it ends between these you know between these three. Like, will Kazuya and Heihachi end up killing each other? Will Akuma end up killing one of them? 
I mean, we'll never know until the game comes out, so... Ugh, the anticipation is killing me. Here's Jin standing between Devil Jin and Ryu. And honestly, in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, this should have been the main rivalry. Not having Ryu against Kazuya. I mean, seriously, I think... Like, this makes more sense out of, out of all of them. This makes more sense. Here's Ken standing next to King. And here's Nina Williams standing between the two ladies of Street Fighter, Chun-Li and Cammy. And yes, you can see Chun-Li and Cammy are standing taller than Nina, but look how big Nina's feet are. Look how big her feet are, her feet are next to Cammy and Chun-Li's. So anyways, yeah, I am very happy with this set of pop figures, and I am happy to have all of these in my collection. Big Tekken fan since childhood. I cannot wait for Tekken 7. Comes out June 2nd, three days before my birthday. Man, I'm so excited for it. And if you're a Tekken fan, I recommend you get all of these, including Devil Jin, which is a GameStop exclusive. Or if you collect pop figures in general, then you should also get all of these. These are well worth the price. And you will not be disappointed with either of these. And I hope you guys like this unboxing. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, all that cool stuff. Stay tuned for more videos. And have a nice day everyone.